that she's be screaming loud for the boy, I get it. I don't know what they were saying, but they were screaming. I think they were saying, let's go space. Probably, Dutch. probably. Yeah, probably yeah. One of the two, you know what I mean? Okay, so Seth Aegis, the oh, DLC sorry. battle. I was talking about Seth. Yeah, I mean, I'm still confused why. With the, with the inkling in, on the, in the pocket, I'd be a little bit scared of that matchup. Either way, they know it better than us. Maybe I will just convince he was a better player. I respect it. Was say Inkling sucks. Oh man. Ooh, almost. Now you gotta watch out. You see Owl trying to harass space off stage. No, you know. He just kind of one floor is that recovery. Very volatile. So if you can kind of push them far and far away, especially with moves like down arrow there from Sephiroth, you can, uh, you can benefit. Yeah. I'm just, just a, it's a shame to see to see that there kind of yeah. time because I feel like that was a really good opportunity to take advantage of he just is terrible recovery. Space not letting him, uh, not being too shy with these aerials on Pyra's side. Oh, there we go. Man. Neutral gets up into the Giga Flare. It's going to be punished with the F tilt. Takes big stuff. That's so cheap, I can't even see. <laughs> okay, forward throw gets the one wing though. This one, this one wing needs to make the most of it to really get this lead. Oh, and he's, he's making the most of it. The double nair. Oh, where are you going? He's really abusing the one wing speed as well. Really abusing the stat buffs. I'm trying to get the upper, just chasing him, hunting him down. Can't find the kill though. What happens when a pirate down air meets a Sephiroth back air, bro? <laughs> well, I mean, Sephiroth's back air is definitely gonna win. Oh, yeah. You don't even have to be in the same postcode as that pirate. <laughs> <laughs> to oh, my God. Shocking I did, I did not knee. expect such, such a lead in this game one, if I'm honest. I really didn't. I just feel like Owl and Sephiroth is playing it really, really well. As best as they could. Yeah, I wonder if Owl kind of wins with a clean two stock. Are we going to see space maybe come to to Inkling? Or are we going to see him stick it out? I would imagine they go Inkling, maybe like two games. They might, they might try it in this first set as well. Ooh. Oh, and a third up here. Almost our fourth, but it's going to be punished with down air. Oh, kind of knowing that space was looking for in that situation. Punishing Atlin. Mm -hmm. Sephiroth, a light body. Definitely in danger by the ledge here. Dash Shad gonna catch the roll away. He just threw that one out, like, why not? Okay, just that'll be passing the cheese, the ledge planking. Not available, says, uh, <laughs> says Space. I will need to be so careful here, because this is a volatile lead. And if you lose the stock here, then there's every chance of Space just makes it back. You need to extend to at least 100% before you go out. Land safely, bro. <laughs> exactly. It's so, so difficult. Doesn't even matter if you're mid If you're Pyra, it's still slow. You can still find these big hitbox swings that are able to kind of take up some of the space. And if you get caught, you can really uh, take your stock in a flash. And it's funny how that statement kind of applies to, to both characters. Yep. It's just, just can't land. Almost. He's going to get punished. Unfortunately. Reading that air dodge about. That was very uh, unfortunate. I think I feel like I was winning the whole game though. The whole the whole game, that first game of the set. But like that was Al's lead, and then I don't know, it crumbled. Okay, characters on the problem, staying with this pick. Same time as he's just complete run back. Yep. Again, no mistakes are made on the stage of the character. It's all purely me. Oh yeah, there was absolutely no reason to change a single thing. Mm -hmm. It was just unfortunate. Poor timing of the up smash, she's gonna get punished. It doesn't get any more complicated than that. Okay. Space. Oh! Space making a beautiful comeback in that game and is carrying that momentum into the game too. That's Owl on the back foot right now. 
Yeah, space telling him, I don't know, I don't care how many slashes you need, seven, eight, octo, whatever. <laughs> I just got this one downer that'll swing one way. Yeah. One nicely placed down there as well. For sure. It's a big move. Okay, our B conversions as well, the damage. Kind of starting, I feel like I was starting to bleed at the moment now, Dan. Oh yeah, well, this is turning into a full sock. Bleed, yeah. Just a clean full sock. Space isn't even a kill percent. Okay, grab, throw off, one wing. Should be able to put in a wall work here. I will fight back with the center stage and that's gonna combo to not be and Sephiroth, like character, once again, two stocks behind for Space or yeah, for Owl right now. This looks so comfy for Space at the moment. I feel like you gotta switch this point, bro. I feel like you have yeah, to. I feel like it might be worth it, but maybe Owl just feels like, you know what, you got this one. I wasn't playing amazingly. Mm, I mean, that's true. That's also true. Okay. Finally, we get, we get a point on the board for Owl. It's just signs of a turnabout, perhaps. I personally do not think so. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm being honest, I'm not a believer. I'm a non believer this set. Only this set. Maybe the next time they meet, maybe something else can change. But at the moment, I just don't see it, man. I don't see him have the comeback factor in him. If he does, he's a god. But I don't see it. This is the first game we're seeing that Shadow Flare being used. We didn't see Side B much yeah. usage. Yeah. Uh, or much Side B usage in that first game. So I feel like it might just be the difficulty because of Mithra's speed just kind of makes it hard for Sephiroth to find that space. I can agree with that. Okay, catching that dash back. One wing allowing Sephiroth to keep up with Mithra right now. That extra movement. That movement option that... Sephiroth gains through one wing is mm -hmm. not. It's just having a third jump. Ooh. Oh, okay. Hold, now, hold on. And we're seeing it just swing right back in Owl's favor. Just doing space like he did him in game one. We might be back. Hold on. A couple of nairs with the fair. Just needs oh. to expose that recovery. One of the down there, but didn't go for it this fair, time. Unfortunately. Oh, man. That could have been so dangerous for space. Thank you, as lucky stars that I will miss that fair. Oh, and the forward there, you're a bit too far away. Can you recover? Ooh, and it's not going to make it far enough. Dan, I told you the Aegis was the pick. Yeah. And I told you the Sephiroth was the bear pick. I was always a believer. Come on now. I was always a believer. I was the one that said Sephiroth was before them. No, I did. No. No, I did. Either way. You know what? If he did. I was wrong. <laughs> I'm out. I was the one that said the Banjo versus the Inkling. Why would neither of those characters? Why would he play Banjo or Inkling? You got you're so know, silly. You killed me, King. So silly. Running right back. As we shoot. Tennis City again. Tennis City again. Why are you asking the question? I'm asking you. Of course it's Town and City again. Why would they go anywhere else? Well, you, I, I was just backing you I up. think Dan's confused. Either way, game I'm being, three. I'm being gaslighting top eight right now. I for would no never reason. do that. Well, I want to see what Al can do with the Sephiroth. Because it kind of like had to rely on the comeback. See, I'm thinking after that comeback that the gas has been lit beneath our babies. And... Space? Space. Okay, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Couple of nairs, oh, okay, just the one. What's the back of them? It's gonna get the full slide. Yeah, I was just pressing the down air. You gotta watch out now. Have to watch how you recover and ooh, I love that. Space does up be just around him. The lucky up beat. See, that's the thing with Mithra's speed, just catching the shadow flare out. I feel like that's why he doesn't see a lot of usage. Punishing for using the move is pretty smart. Okay, can't touch my shield. We'll be getting nared. This is how you know these high, these like top level players are both so evenly matched. Yeah. Just because we're seeing this comeback after comeback, and this is just the best type of set to see. However, Space in Game 3 is going to be the one to take the lead over our babies. However, we've seen this before, if you take the lead, you're still not safe. Not safe at all. No, I agree. I do think uh, Owl is starting to mash it a bit much more than, than uh, Sephiroth could do in general. And you're just gonna get punished every time by uh, by each, especially with uh, space. Ooh, okay. Space back to the back here, not quite gonna kill. We're gonna see a Giga Flare come out, and it's gonna catch Pyra. Oh, baby's easiest fear of his life. That was so smart. Yep. That all of that Giga Flare did was just be a lingering hitbox and push space more and more off stage. And he was able to kind of pick it up. It didn't even have to kill. It just put space off without a jump. And it was exactly it did exactly what it needed to do. F tilt, not gonna combo. 
However, down there on that platform is going to combo so easily into that up tilt. I will be yeah. still lagging behind despite that beautiful edge guard. That was kind of nasty, I'm not going to lie to you. Let's see that. We're going to see that one way come out soon. That's like the Giga Flare. I will bleeding badly right now, not really getting any extra spreading so far in the stock. However, reversal, not gonna make the most of it. Fighting back at center stage. Yeah, luckily to get the, the back hit of the Nair as well. I don't know if he positions that perfectly, but still some good spacing, nonetheless. But how do you land? Okay, never mind, you down there. Why not? You to there. <laughs> but you have to watch out for these down airs, these aerials when you can just die. It's so light, susceptible. Yep, not killing just yet that fair. However, Sephoth in a dangerous position, the Sledge versus Aegis. And reads the roll in with an up tilt, simple and clean. That's it. Game three goes to space. Yeah, they're, like they were going back and forth, but I feel like there's sometimes space is able to just be like, you know what, I'm gonna kick it up a gear, and he's able yeah. to just like bam, 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 bam. And there's so much pressure on Al. Sometimes can't just deal with it all the time. Back to time to see. Nothing's gonna change. They're just, it's just gonna go like this. Just everybody's better playing each other to the very end. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Nothing's Dan. gonna change. Never mind. And then it all changes. Bayonetta this time. I think they really just wanna drag you just off stage and make sure they can't come back. No matter how many side beats you Oh do. yeah, it's just like, all right, you know what? I'm not edge guarding enough. I'm Sephiroth, I'm gonna edge guard with Bay. I feel this is good. But I think if I will win this game, it now sets up for the do I stay bail, get counterpicked by Space's Inkling? Or do I go back to Sephiroth and fight it out? It's, an, it's, 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 it's a tough position. Okay, and this, this, this uh, fourth game has been very slow. Only 40 something percent on either one of these uh, guys. Okay, touch my shield, you know what's gonna happen. Up B, the witch twist. A big, com a big combo damage there as well. Combo damage. Yeah. Combo yeah. damage. You know what? Fair enough. Baby shot charge. Baby shot charge. Shot combo damage. Mark Samus. Down S. Down. That was a combo damage. I said down S smash. By the way, I meant to say down or up smash. <laughs> I feel like neither of us can talk. Maybe I should have done the tongue twisters as well, bro. You should have been on your. Oh. Oh wow, that's, that's unfortunate. Too hard. Wow. You're a little too greedy. This is, where, this is where the edge guard needs to happen, and it's not going to happen. However, Foley with a down air on neutral get up has another chance. Not going to make the most of it. Try to empty a hop jab, however, Space is going to roll away from that. Now we've got Pyro Ledge Trapping. We've seen this countless times. Mm -hmm. It's also a case of how do you deal with it. Because which time, why not? Goes for the DI mix up with the down throw. Yeah, however, not going to be enough to kill. Space wise enough. This is how oh, oh, babies is bleeding now, Fabs. Yeah, they need to find a kill and uh, find a kill quickly because at the moment they just can't do anything. That's okay. okay. One jab kill. Needs to find a kill. Finds a kill. Okay. Just, again, these nickel and dimes, like just from the last set before with, with Dargo, right? Yeah. Uh, Seriously, just needs to make the most of this. Yeah. But like they're getting these straight hits, and that's really nice. But like, you want the big damage combos, you know what I mean? The big combo damages, like, you know? Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to see no baby shot charge shot in this situation. No baby but, like, shot charge shot. But like, Pyra is definitely capable of the combo damages. Okay. You see this. Like I was going to say, Owl Baby needs to make it out of that ledge trap situation. Yeah. It's going to turn it dire. Parry's a side B, still not able to convert off it though. And okay, it's Owl's turn now. Oh, which time's the blazing Ooh. edge? Doesn't Gets get a nice anything. conversion. Oh, however, the spike kill off the top. Yeah. Yeah. Great stock kill from uh, from Owl. Owl Baby's taking the lead. Yeah. Off of space. One conversion for they needed as well, but never mind. Okay, never Bring mind. It right back down yeah. to even. Yeah. Point for that was exactly what old babies needed. For sure. I feel like the the the, the, the momentum. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know why, but seeing people have like a brain fart <laughs> kills me. He just malfunctions a little bit. Either way, guys, not gonna stay on it too the much. The momentum's gonna be on our baby's side. However, during that brain fart, it seems that was not the case. Space gonna stay in the lead, racking up the damage. Oh, baby, a chance to fight back. It's not gonna be much. Of this is what I was talking about. Space is able to just kind of turn it up a gear. He's just turned up another level and, and our baby just has to somehow deal with it. But you know what Space wants. He's hanging on that middle platform for one thing and one thing only and it's disgusting. He just wants that down and look at him. Fiending for it. Ow, not giving it to him though. Gonna try and take him to the skies. Not able to, he's getting grabbed instead. Oh, and that empty hop up tilt Space with a little pop off. Nicely done, we've got the Dutchies get loud for their hometown yeah, hero. Yeah, they are, they are roaring at the moment. There we go.